today let's take up journals so first of all let's understand what is a journal and why a journal is prepared the journal is also called as the book of original entry and uh, it is basically the main book or the principal book of accounts and all the transactions are first entered into the journal in a chronological order when i say chronological order <clears throat> it means uh, as they are as the transactions happen as per the date of the transactions they are entered right so first of all let's first write down a simple definition of what is a journal try to understand what is a journal first a journal is a primary book of accounts in which transactions are recorded in a chronological order in a chronological order these uh, transactions which we enter into the journal they are entered from the vouchers so whatever is the source document like cash memos invoices all these things based on that the voucher is prepared and from the voucher it is transferred to the journal as of now we will be looking at only one journal as we proceed further we will see that we'll have separate journals for like we can have separate journal uh for uh, sales purchases sales return purchase returns everything but first let's try to understand what is a journal how to make a entry in the journal now there are some uh, this is a journal is also called as a uh, a journal is also called as the book of original entry original entry right and when you record i mean like uh, when an entry is recorded in a journal once we enter the record in a book of journal it is called a journal entry and the process of putting that journal into that book journal is called journalizing right the process of recording a transaction in a journal is called as journalizing right and uh, the process of posting the process of transferring i'll say transferring a journal entry into a ledger account is called posting this we will come to later first we will learn journal and then we will proceed to ledgers right okay now let's see what are the characters what are the characteristics of a journal in the journal we put the day to day transactions 
in a chronological order here the transactions are written in the journal first and then posted to the ledger right now an important thing here it records both the debit and credit aspect of a transaction of a transaction okay now let's see a format of the journal A journal will be like this. The first column is the date column. The second column is the particulars. The third column is the ledger folio. And the fourth one is the debit amount and then the credit amount. So here, see, date. particulars LF right and then you have debit amount and then credit amount in date the transaction date is written like supposing I say uh, here let's put some date here twentieth September 2000 12 right and the particulars will come here the journal entry will come here so uh, like for example I want to write this journal entry cash account cash account to cash account debit here we'll write cash account debit to capital account suppose like this right now whatever is the debit amount debit amount suppose let's say it's 2 lakh right the total of the debit side and the credit side should be the same so if the debit is 2 lakh the credit also will be 2 lakh it can't be like one is 2 lakh and the other is some other amount it can't be like that right now this uh, so debit will be written uh, in the debit amount and credit account credit amount will be written here in the credit amount right and below this you will have a narration narration is basically something which explains that journal entry which tells what that journal entry is all about right so here I can write something like being uh, cash brought in by the proprietor for starting the business right and this LF, LF is basically the ledger folio number. The in this column we write the number of the ledger page, the page number of the ledger, in uh, in which this amount is posted. The page number in which this amount is posted in the ledger, right? As of now when we are doing our questions we will not be writing anything over here otherwise supposing uh, in uh, proper uh, companies where they have uh, journals and ledgers uh, they are maintaining journals and ledgers here suppose the cash account is in page number let's say 89 and capital account is in page number 34 something like this so this will uh, when you see this particular uh, journal entry and you want to refer to the ledger you can very well see that this amount 2 lakh rupees uh, is posted in the uh, 89th page of the ledger and this is posted in the 34th page of the ledger right okay hmm? so this is the format of the ledger uh, sorry journal and this 
narration is important for each and every journal entry so whatever journal entry you write you have to write a narration for that you have to explain what that journal entry is all about fine this uh, ledger folio column can be put in the journal only when um, the amount is posted to the ledger right so when you are making the journal entry at that point of time we cannot write this ledger folio number this ledger folio number can come only when we are posting it to the uh, ledger when we are posting it to the ledger at that point of time we will post it and simultaneously we will write the number page number over here right okay hmm? whenever you post a transaction to a journal the first thing that you have to do there is you uh, read the transaction first understand what the transaction says then uh, identify the accounts involved in the transaction in the transaction right identify the accounts and then identify the accounts uh, classify the accounts on the basis of real personal or nominal if you are following the uh, traditional approach if you are following the modern approach then the modern classification right and then uh, as for the rules of debit and credit for these accounts right will make the journal entry we have seen in our earlier sessions the rules of debit and credit and had shown some examples of transactions what are the accounts involved and how uh, we have to decide whether a particular account is to be credited or debited the same thing goes here but now here in the journal we will be learning uh, much i mean uh, many other transactions and we will be putting them in this form of the journal right so in our next session we'll take up this journal entries further and we will uh, take up questions transactions and we will make the journal entries for them so with that i come to the end of this session on journals bye